welcome back to my channel i will be doing the csec chemistry january 2020 paper one this is part two video so if you missed watching part one there's a card somewhere on this video you can go ahead and click it to watch it and then come back and watch part two also please give this video a thumbs up by pressing the like button and if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded so let's get into this question 31 when a piece of magnesium ribbon is burnt in the in air magnesium oxide is formed the magnesium oxide is then placed in water and tested with litmus solution which turns blue the above experiment shows that max magnesium oxide is a insoluble b neutral c acidic d basic so we know the answer is d basic 32 when a metal atom becomes an ion it a gains electrons and is oxidized b gains electrons and is reduced c loses electrons and is reduced d loses electrons and is oxidized so we know it is D, loses electrons and is oxidized. 33. Some calcium carbonate was reacted with excess dilute hydrochloric acid. The volume of carbon dioxide evolved was recorded and plotted against time. Which of the following graphs represents this reaction? So... Let's take a look at them. Let's go back here. So it is at A. A would be our answer for 33. Let's go to 34. Potassium is a metal. From this information only, it may be deduced that potassium A is soft, B is very reactive, C has a low melting point. D is a good conductor of electricity. So the answer is D is a good conductor of electricity. 35. An alloy is A, a type of element, B, a mixture of metals, C, a compound of metals, D, the same as aluminum. So it is B, a mixture of metals. 36. Which of the following methods is used for the extraction of aluminum? A. Electrolysis of its molten oxide. B. Reduction of its oxide using coke. C. Electrolysis of its aqueous chloride. Or D. Reduction of its oxide using carbon monoxide. So the answer would be A. Electrolysis of its molten oxide. 37. Which of the following statements explains why, over time, aluminum products do not deteriorate in air as do iron products? A. Aluminum is lower than iron in the activity series. Therefore, it reacts less readily with air than iron. B. Aluminum is higher up in the activity series than iron. Therefore, in its more resistant corrosion than iron. C. Both metals from oxide, coals, coats but the aluminum oxide prevents further reaction while the iron oxide does not d both metals from hydrox hydroxide coats but the aluminum hydroxide prevents further reaction while the iron hydroxide hydroxide does not so the answer for 37 would be c both metals oxide coats but the aluminum oxide prevents further reaction while the iron oxide does not 38 item 38 refers to the following sequences of reactions involved when iron compounds where one two three and four represents the progressive stages in the sequence a suitable reagent that could be used at stage four is A steam, B hydrogen, 
see solid copper oxide or the aqueous sodium hydroxide. So, the answer would be D. Let's go to number 39. Which of the following elements is an important constitu constituent of chlorophyll? A. Magnesium. B. Calcium. C. Copper. D. Iron. So we know it is A. Magnesium. 40. The existence of millions of organic compounds is due primarily to the ability of carbon to form one multiple bonds, two ring structures, three branch chains. So the answer would be all of them. D, one, two, and three. 41. Copper and aluminum are both good conductors of electricity, but aluminum is preferred to copper for overhead electrical cables because a. Aluminum is obtained in a very high degree of purity. B. Aluminum is lighter and resistant to corrosion. C. Copper, a transition metal, forms a colored coating. D. Copper rapidly reacts with grease present in air. So the answer would be B. Aluminum is lighter and resistant to corrosion. Corrosion. 42. Which of the following aqueous solutions will produce a yellow precipitate with aqueous potassium iodide? Now, A, lead nitrate, B, zinc sulfate, sulfate, C, calcium chloride, or D, sodium carbonate? So the answer is A, lead nitrate. 43. Which of the following outcomes is observed when excess aqueous am ammonia is called is added to a solution of copper to sulfate? So is it A, green solution, B, green precipitate, C, D, blue solution, D, light blue precipitate? So the answer is C, D, blue solution. Forty-four. Hexane is an alkane with six carbon atoms per molecule. Which of the following is a formula for hexane? So it is B. C five H fourteen. Let's go to forty-five. Item 45 refers to the following structures of two organic compounds, one and two, whose molecule formula is C3H8O. Compounds one and two are known as the, so they are known as the, A, isomers of C3H8O. 46. Which of the following metals will react the most vigorously with a dilute acid? A. Iron. B. Zinc. C. Lead. D. Copper. The answer is B. Zinc. Let's go to 47. Which of the following about ethane is correct? So, we know it would be D. General. So it would be the general formula. 48. Item 48 refers to the following. To the fully displayed structural formula of compounds Q, R, and S shown below. Which of the following correctly identifies the homologous series to which compound belongs? So... We know it is at Q, it's acid, R, ester, S, alcohol, D. 49 says, which reaction involves the boiling of a fat or oil with aqueous sodium hydroxide 
caustic soda, A, hydrolysis, B, dehydration, C, saponification, D, esterification. So the answer is C, saponification. Fifty, which of the following is the fully displayed structural formula of two bromobutane? So the answer would be C. Fifty-one. Which of the following statements are true of alkanes and alkenes? One, both alkanes and alkenes burn in air to give carbon dioxide and water. Two, alkenes undergo substitution reactions whilst alkenes undergo addition reactions. Three, alkanes are saturated by hydrocarbons whilst alkenes alkenes or unsaturated hydrocarbons so the answer would be d all of them 52 says a solution has a ph of one this solution would be expected to react with a zinc metal to produce hydrogen b hydrochloric acid to produce chlorine c zinc metal to produce a solution of ph 10 D, hydrochloric acid to produce a salt and water. So it is A, zinc metal to produce hydrogen. 53. Which of the following compounds will react with ethanic acid to form an ester? So it would be C, CH3, CH2OH. 54. Which of the following equations represent the fermentation the fermentation of sugars using glucose as the substrate so it would be a 53 a. so 55 says ethene is described as being unsaturated this means that the a molecule has insufficient hydrogen atoms b molecule contains at least one double bond c carbon atoms in the molecule are very reactive d carbon atoms in ethene are linked by single bonds so the answer is b molecule contains at least one double bond 56 all members of a homologous series have similar a densities b boiling points c chemical properties d physical properties so it would be c chemical properties 57 which of the following compounds can decolorize potassium manganated seven so right away we know it's going to be b Go to number 58. Which of the following is a natural source of hydrocarbons? Which of the following is a natural source of hydrocarbons? A, carbon, B, methane, C, hydrogen, D, petroleum. So the answer is D, petroleum. 59 says, which of the following types of polymers may be derived from monomers of the type shown below? So, we know that is C, polyamide. So, C, polyamide. So, our final question says, which of the following hydrocarbons is a major constituent of natural gas? A. Methane, B. Propane, C. Ethane, D. Butane. So we know it is 
a methane so this is it we have come to the end of the c sec chemistry january 2020 paper one part two thank you so much for watching